so I got ahead of myself. Um, trying to install this trailer bake controller and you can't see it in the video right now but I'm gonna try to install it just under the opening for the factory trailer brake controller hole um, which is just a little cubby in my truck um, to get to that piece of trim you have to take the center console off um, at least that's how I do it this these trim pieces are very stuck on and you need in my opinion to get them from the side um, so the first step in getting these F-150 um, consoles out at least the pieces I'm taking out so you got to pop off this uh, speaker cover and uh, anything soft um, will do uh, you just got to get it like a plastic tool into the gap a little bit and then start prying up and then there's these uh, tabs and just pop them off the next thing are these seven millimeter uh, screws there's two of them and then once those are loose this top should pop right out sort of maybe <laughs> needed a little encouragement. And I forgot to plug the speaker back in the last time I had this apart. So that will get plugged back in eventually, but what I want to do now is Get the center console out. That's kind of whatever center dash, whatever it's called.
right. Show you guys a little bit more down here. I've had these things off before. Just forget how to undo them. spring tab I forgot it's uh, made for people with tiny hands not people with big hands I'll be right back Plastic clips broke or sprung off. I don't think I've ever had this successfully off. Alright. So, uh, where is 
So if I didn't mention it, this there's a collar that wraps around the bottom of the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, HVAC set up in here. And you gotta loosen that collar to get this off. Um, let me see if I can just pull this off because it will help if I can. Here is the spot for the Ford OEM brake controller and I need that connector back there. Yeah, so I gotta unplug that, pull it out through the bottom so I can attach the uh, harness for the aftermarket brake controller. So I don't know if that just pops out or not. Um, I don't think I've had it out before. Well, dang it. I didn't have to, well, maybe I did. Um, I'll have to check afterwards, but the easiest way to get to that connector is to pull this out and uh, I can't remember if yeah, it's, I think you have to pull that cover that, that trim piece off no matter what um, anyway so let me get this disconnected and reroute it once you have all this apart you can pull this out it's just uh, plugged into nothing that's the easiest way to get to it just pull this out um, so yeah I just gotta push that back through and um, figure out how to reroute it um, up through here and then maybe I'll just plug the the new harness into this push it in and I'll have enough pigtail to come back around here um, all right let me figure that out be back that harness comes from the top and I just sh um, plugged in the extension harness for the uh, brake controller and uh, shoved it down as far as I could it's running into like some metal frame pieces but I've got plenty of length there it is coming out the bottom um, really nice there's almost like a channel made to get stuff out of there kind of interesting and then since this is right next to the brake pedal um, what I'll do is um, after I get you know the brake controllers installed right about here I'll uh, figure out uh, I'll just zip tie that up somewhere so it's not in the way. And then what I need to do now is take that trim piece I took off, drill two holes for the bracket, uh, get the bracket installed, and then I can put it back together. All right, just a really quick layout. You might see there's uh, Two pencil marks that's roughly where this bracket goes so um, it'll be installed like this I found that this is a really comfortable height for me to hit the manual brake emergency brake option on the trailer brake or whatever that is um, or this I think this is whatever in any case um, that's roughly where it needs the bracket needs to go and then if you let's see all right so my thumb is roughly where that bracket's going to be screwed into i think there's a little bit of standoff caused by these um tabs but what i'll do is um i'll use a truss head 
stainless steel screw on the inside because it'll be almost flush. And then there's, there's plenty of space between the bottom of this unit and the bracket. So I'll just use the uh, nut on the outside and uh, you'll never see it because uh, it's gonna be buried behind the brake controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up for doing these two holes. Be right back. Well, that's what the installed bracket looks like. A couple truss head screws, a thin washer, a very small nut, metal lock, locking nut. I was afraid the other, like the nylock would be a little bit too tall. But anyway, this might need some minor adjustment. I need to install the brake controller and see how it looks. So I did lose one of these white plastic things. I looked for it, couldn't find it. There's a good chance it's broke. About the only way these things come off is if you break this t retaining tab. So um, it's just gonna go in like that. We're gonna hope for the best. And that's what it looks like. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is kind of get this back in its place. All right, good enough. And then, let's get this. Bring this back in. I got everything installed more or less. I need to tighten up the screws on the bracket, but that's an easy fix for later. So, all right, let's put this thing back together.
things clicked in. here so this bracket man, I forget who makes it if I uh, remember I'll get it in the video somehow or the description or something like that um, it's made for this f-150 tray um, I just added a TNC coax connector and a I can't see it a uh, power pole bulkhead connector with a nice dust cat. Got a nice weather cat for this, or dust cat for the TNC connector. I don't think it's weatherproof. It's certainly dustproof here. So that's a TNC connector. I'll just leave it right like that. And then, yeah. This is a terminal block. I was trying to do one wire to two power poles and that wasn't working so well, so I just decided to use a terminal block. And this be the speaker connector I gotta remember to plug in. All Click. Oh, and this tan wire is uh, actually coax cable, RG400 coax, really good stuff. S uh, silver strands, silver center conductor, uh, aviation grade stuff basically. helps the radio not interfere with the truck and the truck to not interfere with the radio, the CB that goes here. Just making sure everything is not rubbing on something or pinched and then, yeah, click. All right. So maybe. Let's get you guys more over here. Everything was okay. I don't know. Why it was complaining the first time. at one of the local parks. Let's 
seven years old, six years old. Family was out fishing. Parents warned the kid not to go near the water. It was with a, the kid was with his, one of his siblings. Walked away because he didn't want to disturb the fish. Sibling heard a splash. And they searched like heck for two or three days, and then it became a recovery operation. Still couldn't find them for a week or more. Found out today there was a body of a child washed up in downtown Dayton which is downstream of where he fell in of course the paper isn't local paper isn't uh, making any assumptions but uh, it's probably that kid <sighs> all right So, cut this little non-slip pad for like toolboxes. Cut the notch out for the power pole connector so I can get, you know, something plug into it. And it help, this helps keep things rattling around. So, um, be right back. All right. So that's what I just got done tightening up, buttoning up. Come down here. Here's the original slot for the OEM Ford brake controller. And then here is the aftermarket brake controller. So all I have to do is reach down here and do this or do that. Um, Seems a little loose right right here. It's this pivot point, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and uh, tighten that up after I get the um, plug in, and then yeah, I still have to zip tie that up, don't I? All right, all right, guys. So. I figured I was going to tie that up. There's not a whole lot to tie it to. But what I did was I looped it around the back edge of this uh, collar here. And what I was going to do is get one of those surface mount zip tie doohickeys. But <laughs> i got like a whole bag of them. I can't find them. So... Um, this is not going to go anywhere for right now. I'll just be careful. Um, yeah, I'll go down to the big box store, um, get a small bag of them, and then uh, I'll eventually find mine after I clean my garage up a little bit. All right, but I think this project is done. And like I said, man, this thing doesn't turn off. All right, well, I think I'm done with this project, and it's, uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock-ish, 7.30-ish on a Sunday evening, and this has been one heck of a weekend for projects. So uh, I got a lot more done than I thought I was going to get done. I was working several projects, and I'm literally just waiting for parts and supplies to continue. So... Um, I'm going to go in and relax and since this is the end of the weekend and I need to get ready for work. So, see ya.